you're talking and understanding why do most people's RTOs not meet what is expected? Do you want to touch on some of well, those? <laughs> I'm going to say the yeah. number one reason is okay. that they simply don't have a backup or disaster recovery system that is capable of meeting that RTO, just period, mm -hmm. right? And this is this is quite possibly they. I remember when when I you know back, go back thirty years, <laughs> right? That. <laughs> that we knew we abs everyone knew that our backup system wasn't anywhere near capable of meeting the rtos that we had discussed even though we didn't use that term back then I, i'm sure the term was available but i didn't use it and yeah. the we just knew that it, it just wasn't wasn't possible right uh, i mean in some cases it was laughably impossible right mm -hmm. uh, and that we had servers that it took us a week it took, it took us a week to get a full backup, okay? Like, how are we going to meet a four-hour RTO if it takes a week to do a full backup, right? For more tips on backup and cyber recovery, check out the Backup Wrap-Up Podcast.